Within this cup are nanobubbles. A nanobubble is less than a micron in diameter. A micron is one millionth of a meter or one thousandth of a millimeter. When things become this tiny, sometimes they take on unique properties. In this case, nanobubbles exhibit high mass transfer efficiency, which is a fancy way of saying things like oxygen dissolve much better. This is huge in agriculture because if your plant roots can take in oxygen and nutrients more efficiently, they could grow better, they could grow faster. That could mean higher yields and ultimately higher profits. Moreover, nanobubbles generate hydroxyl radicals that react to pollutants and bacteria in water. So they could reduce the need for chemical treatments. They could maybe remove the need entirely. That's huge. Another unique property is that because they're so small, they like can stay in the water for months. Something about their surface tension and I think how they're charged, just they stay in the water. They don't float to the top and pop. Now the truth is that nanobubble technology is still emerging and there's so much more work to be done. It's actually why I'm so privileged to be a part of some of the initial data gathering over the effectiveness of using nanobubbles. And in my case, of course, it's for indoor farming. It's for hydroponics, aeroponics, hybrid methods of growing indoors. This is my 175 square foot indoor farm, and I'm about to take my seven aeroponic towers down. We're gonna clean them. I'm gonna reduce the number because it's a huge workload. I'm also only in my second year of business, and I'm always growing more than I can sell. But two, I have light attachments. We're finally gonna get rid of the overhead lights, and it's just gonna make it so much more efficient. And even bigger than that, Folks, I have a nano bubble system coming, which I'm gonna get to run never before done tests on the microgreens, on the towers, and I'm just so stoked and excited. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, I'm here with Stuart and Tony from Pure Nanotech. So I wanna ask a few questions about this machine sure. that I know I'm as interested in and I imagine many viewers would be interested in. So why don't you go ahead and tell me what this machine is and what it does. Okay, so this is a nanobubble generator and uh, this one is the uh, 15 GPM heavy duty machine. Uh, basically what it do is uh, produce a nanobubble in the water. Uh, nanobubbles are very small, tiny bubbles, and uh, it is a negative charge. In this case, we're using air nanobubbles directly to the root of the plant and uh, uh, improve the uh, plant health and improve the uh, nutrient delivery for the plant. So we expect the plant will uh, grow better, grow bigger, and grow faster with the uh, assist of a nanobubble machine. Why don't you tell us more about what we're actually looking at here in the front. So what's the left side? What's the right side? What are these doing? And uh, how's this work? Yeah, Shosun, the idea is this product we made is, is plug and play. We got one side for the water inlet and the other side for the water outlet. Yeah. So once the water comes out from the machine, you, are, you already got the uh, nanobubble in yeah. which the water. So yeah, yeah. that water is ready to use. Well, this is so exciting. And again, I really appreciate you guys coming out here, give, giving this opportunity to my channel. Uh, we were re re really excited to, to see uh, more results from Michael Green. And uh, yeah, for the viewers, support Michael Green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard it yourself, folks. Subscribe to the channel. We're getting ready to do some cool things. Well, thank you guys again. All right, I'm gonna pump my first nano bubbles. I'm gonna fill up this five gallon jar in this 27 ounce Vivo Sun sprayer. All right, the first thing we got to do is plug it in, turn on the pump. Kind of loud. And now I'm going to send some water to it. There it goes. All right, I'm going to get to planting. I'm testing nine different microgreens two dozen other crops. We're gonna do tests in the towers. I'm pretty excited. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see these tests, to see the results. And uh, I just appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.